Hello everyone, Ragnella here with another episode of Monster Hunter Free Unite. Last time we took on the Shen Gao Ren and now today we're taking on another monster with three syllables, the Lao Shan Lung. And now the, the first thing you might be noticing is what in the world is going on here? This is, this armor does not look the same, that weapon is definitely different, and what's going on with the name? No, I didn't hack my old file to, to change a few things up, that would be pretty cool, but um completely ineffective because this is one of my first files in fact it is my first full-on playthrough of uh, of Monster Hunter Freemium Knights so this is an old file and for this particular quest for the sake of saving time I wanted to use something that's a little bit more um, uh, effective and so uh, this is gonna be more it's going to be less of a walkthrough and more of just a showcase of the monster. So, uh, in these uh, at this point in the game, the monster fights and the quests are just going to get longer and longer and longer. And the longer a video is, the more time I'm going to be spent editing. And, well, contrary to popular belief, I don't have 12 hours or so in a given day to, um, to record and play video games. That would be awesome. I just don't have that kind of time. So, um, the other thing about uh, this particular video is that this is in uh, post-production, so I'm recording after the fact, and that's uh, going back to the whole time saver thing. Uh, I broke down this video into uh, just a couple of sections where the footage just sped up because this is a slow fight. It's It could easily take... 20 minutes to get to the good stuff and even then that fight can just kind of drag out so I just wanted to touch base on the the main things to look out for with the Lao Shan Lung and first and foremost if you haven't seen my uh, seven tough tanks in video games I highly suggest you do because the Lao Shan Lung makes the list and this is why you hear that or do you, you see that there right there so the Lao Shen Lung is enormous the Lao Shen Lung translates to uh, old mountain dragon or can also be roughly translated to great mountain dragon either way it gives you an idea of just how big this guy is he stands uh, a little taller than the Shen Garen so this uh, yeah, up a one-on-one -on -one fight against this guy it's um yeah not uh not something you really want to look forward to now before i even get started in attacking this monster i gotta go clear an area out there is an option of taking cannonballs from the base camp and to the main area in area five but there's eo prey in the way so if you're the type of person that doesn't have the attack power in order to do much against uh this monster then you might want some cannonballs. So, so here we have it sped up. I think it's I think this is at 400%. So this is four times faster than normal. And even then, this this takes forever to do. So these eel prey are in area six, and you'd have to go past these monsters in order to get the cannonball into the next area. But the cannonball functions like the egg or the um, I think it's a powder stone. Where if you get hit, you drop it and it breaks. It it just it sucks. It sucks. So an option that you can do is to take out these eel prey to the point where they don't respawn. They uh, they do have a limit to, the, to them. Uh, thank God. That way you're not uh, spending forever and a half just trying to um, trying to get a cannonball between uh, from here over over into area five. And just so you know. I did all of this and I went back to face the Lao Shan Lung and he was just coming into area two. So that that just tells you how long this this takes. It's it's so slow. So this is just an example. So this is area five and this is a cannon. So you press the circle button when you're at the cannon and it launches. So there you go. And so now I'm gonna go over and confront the Lao Shan Lung and like I mentioned earlier, these He's just getting into area two at this point, and I think uh, we're getting close to five minutes in, somewhere around there. 
I'm I'm thinking that maybe the Lao Shenlong had uh, moved a bit further into area two at this point. Nope. So we're gonna go around the corner here, and it's really nice and foggy, which I, I like it for the kind of uh, the the creepy factor. But it doesn't change the fact that oh my God, look look how slow this guy is. He's big, he's lumbersome, and for the most part, he will not attack you. So the entire time you spend in areas two, three, and four, you're just doing damage against the Lao, and it's there's there's nothing else that you can really do there's uh, he he cannot die outside of area five so all you're doing is just racking it on for the final fight in area five but to kind of pass the time here um i do have the wiki open and i'm just gonna read off some fun facts here um this, uh, the Lao Shenlong does also have a subspecies, which, uh, that's, that was footage I used in the, uh, the in the countdown that, that features this monster, and that's the Ashen Lao Shenlong, so he looks kind of like a, uh, a bluish gray, and even then, it's the exact same fight, by the way, and that's going back to my complaints on subspecies, it's just, come on, just, <laughs> come on, Capcom, just, uh, you know, uh, spice it up a little bit. If you're going to make a monster a different color, for God's sakes, have more than, like, one different attack and the, and a, a health increase. That way, the, the fight remains fresh instead of it just being uh, slightly better materials and armor and making the fight last long again. And according to this, uh, the, the wiki is that the, the Lao Shan Lung gains uh, size when it is in an area where I believe it collects dust particle particles from the atmosphere which I think that's that's pretty cool so a lot of this monster is just dust oh and I also read somewhere that you can jump on to allows back and I think plant an anti dragon bomb but uh, I didn't see that on the wiki. In fact, the wiki might have been changed to where that portion was removed. But uh, you can get up here and you're directly over the Lao. So it it goes to, to show that it, it looks like you should be able to jump on his back. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get onto his back. I'm thinking that that big, that big bright spot <laughs> just uh, on his back there would, uh, would allow me to, to jump up on him. But nope. Okay, so now we're in Area 5. This is, uh, as you can see, it's over 20 minutes in, into this hunt. As I didn't even notice my own jump cut. I was looking at the, my laptop where the wiki was at. Oops. But, you know, that's all you're doing is damage against this monster. And you're going to come into Area 5 and you're just going to meet him in an upfront fight. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to be able to use the Dragonator, which is... That, uh, that lovely red button that you're seeing in the lower left hand corner. So when you uh, hit that, then four giant spikes come out from the front of the, of the fortress and it does quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, it looks like that you might be only able to use it once with the amount of time you have left in this quest. So you really have to time it carefully. In fact, there is a way to hit the loud twice with a single Dragonator, which uh, that that's going back to wonky hitboxes. So it's, it's you got a really slim chance to uh, to hit him twice, but it's a really nice feeling when you do. Now, normally what happens is that the Lao will uh, stand on his uh, hind feet and he'll walk towards you and attempt to attack the front of the fortress. But uh, he wasn't having any of that, and so he was decided just to roar a bunch which by the way that takes high grade earplugs in order to block and he was also ramming the uh, the front of the fortress with his skull which that does a whopping 10% to the fortress's integrity I found out and it, that's uh, it's kind of scary so look at that the, the fortress integrity was just going down a lot faster than uh, than, uh, than I want, wanted to I was hoping it was like 5% but uh, he just he was just cycling through, roaring and hitting the front of the fortress. So I don't know what was going up, uh, going on with him at this point. It could have been that I was doing a lot of damage to him as he was going into uh, uh, between areas two, three, and four. But I was also kind of goofing off too. 
Because again, these, all you're doing is doing damage to the monster and killing time. That is it. And so I'm just I'm just trying to find ways to pass the time. And in fact, right here, I'm, I'm getting impatient because I want the monster to get up on his hind legs. And I'm thinking, uh, yeah, right. I think right about here, I'm waiting for him to uh, go in and hit it one more time before hitting him with the spikes of the Dragonator. So right there, and so that gives you a nice view of the sort of damage that you're doing to the monster. And there's also a ballista ammo that you can find in the item box, and uh, this uh, this stuff is great. Uh, I'm pretty sure, going back to the the Shen Gao Ren uh, video, it, I'm pretty sure it does a set amount of damage, so you don't have to worry about your weapon being inadequate. You have uh, uh, have an option of doing a set amount of damage, which uh, which could be helpful, especially. If for some reason you didn't know that horn was breakable and you just you just go in there wondering, oh man, I wish I could break that horn. Well, you have cannonballs and ballista in order to help you out with that. And so when the Lao stands up, it, the stomach is basically the only place where you can hit, and even then, it's kind of a it's kind of a small hitbox. As you can see, I'm just just uh, I'm I'm basically tapping him. I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage, and even then, I'm I'm not taking this fight very seriously at all. And even then, um, this uh, this armor set, I don't remember if it was a high rank or G rank. I want to say G rank, uh, just because, you know, why not? And I really shouldn't have goofed off in this, because otherwise, you know, this, this fight would have been over with. But I wanted to give a showcase of the Dragonator. That way, I don't just drop down and kill him in a single hit if I just took the fight seriously. And so, yeah, that's basically it with the uh, the Lao Shan Lung. Uh, he's not really a threat. The only thing that he will do is try to mosey on his uh, merry way through the fortress, try to take out the front of the fortress, and if he succeeds, well, then it's, uh, then it's game over. So the, the mission is to either kill the Lao or make it so the fortress's integrity holds and the monster just flees. And so, you're really not under a whole lot of um, a whole lot of stress against this guy, though it could get a little bit nerve-wracking just because he could do 10% to the fortress's integrity in a single hit. And even then, I notice when he's up on his hind legs like that, it, he he can attack, but it doesn't look like he's doing any damage at all. So. Uh, and you know, I checked and when he's doing that attack, I think he did it twice in a row at one point and I checked and he didn't do any any damage to the fortress. So I mean, he's either he was too far away or he just doesn't do any damage at all. But uh, and either way, you'll get a bunch of carves off of them. And so you have to go to a couple locations in order to get those carves. But uh, here's a tip when you're carving the Lao, make sure you crouch because the uh, the animation that it takes to stand up and then go back down for another card just it, it takes a lot of time to do so you can save a good amount of time just by uh, um, Crouching down and then uh, carving away. I think you get between six to eight carves. I didn't uh, I didn't keep count But uh, anyways, that's basically the Lao Shan Lung in a nutshell. He's not a hard fight, but uh, Just make sure that you're doing damage to him Otherwise, you could be in for a bad time. But that's going to do it for me and this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my other content, be sure to hit on one of those annotations that will be featured at the end of this video. Or if you want to support the channel, subscribing is a big help. But until next time, take care, people. Hey.